Since the last five to six years, there have been a great collaboration with uh, international surgeons and their society to promote aortic valve repair among the surgical community. We've uh, developed a new classification system for aortic insufficiency, which allows us to look at a valve both before surgery and intraoperatively to figure out what is actually going wrong with the valve, what are the different parts that are not working, and now systematically be able to address them. By analyzing failures, and not only analyzing, for instance, for myself, analyzing my own failures, but looking critically at the results of others and discussing with them, um, you generate something like swarm intelligence. And, and this is essentially what has happened. That classification has allowed us to speak to our colleagues using the same language, to say that when I say there's a cusp prolapse, that my colleague understands, oh yeah, that's what he means. Which is a language with, that we didn't have 10 or 15 years ago as readily. And I think uh, that language is now disseminating across national and international borders, such that what we're seeing people uh, speak and come together around those same concepts. This general trend, I think, is improving and has made aortic valve repair much more reproducible, much more a craft than a piece of art.